Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fodlan's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time we finished up chapter six. Uh, this time we're going to continue on and we're supposed to have, um, I believe this is the chapter that does the Battle of the Eagle and the Lion. Uh, essentially that's what our job this month is to do. Uh, Alright. There we go. <laughs> Just took a while to load. Good night. The battle of the eagle and lion is finally upon us. This is our chance to show off the results of your expert training, Professor. Uh, mind explaining that? Have Lady Rhea and Seteth really not filled you in? Well, if that's the case, I'm happy to explain. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion takes place every year during the Wyvern Moon. It can be best described as a mock battle between the three houses. Much like the one we had during the Great Tree Moon. Do you remember, Professor? Yeah. This battle will take place in Empire territory, at Grander Field. In other words, far removed from the monastery. It's a mock battle between the three houses. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. Your Highness, if the rumors are true, I believe Professor Manuela and Professor Hanneman will not be joining us. Ah, yes, right you are. Even recent events, Professor Manuela has opted to sit this one out. Since she won't be present, Professor Hanneman has decided to skip this year as well. Well, if that's the case, I probably should sit out too. Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. Professor Manuela, are you feeling better already? Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. In that case, perhaps it is best that you sit this one out. Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily, or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. Um... I'm trying to think of what would be the best response here. I forget which one actually does. Because I know one of them actually will decrease <laughs> affinity with one of them. confident as all that, my students will walk all over you. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. Okay. I know it, it was the one where it's like, well, if I'm the only professor, I think you, like, lose affinity with, I think, Manuela or, uh, Hanneman. And that was essentially whenever you do have like a birth, it like when you set the avatar's birthday, you get that letter as well as a uh, item that you can use. We did grab that last time. Um, so what I'm going to be doing as far as it's concerned with the avatar. Um, 
there's a, really a much better way to go about this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the plus. Um, don't need that many door keys. Uh, actually, you could probably use it. And this will essentially add charm onto the person who's wearing it. So, he's got 13 charm currently. Which isn't saying much for the rest. It, it does help him out quite a bit. But there's not much else he can really do. Um, yeah. Uh, don't... Well... Honestly, I don't need the sword. Because using the lance and gauntlets with her would be fine. Uh, since she joined, she had an intermediate seal on her. Good night. Look at all those keys. I don't need them. Alright, so... Oh, more citizens to really have the support. It's hard to say. You're from Elmira, aren't you? I hope you haven't been uncomfortable here at the Academy. Ah, it's great. I eat every day. Were you not eating before you came here? Every couple days, maybe. It was rough. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you hungry? Um... You should eat up, to make up for all the meals you missed in the past. <sighs> okay. Thank you, Mer... Memel... Mar... Just call me Mercy. That's what my friends call me. Mercy. Mercy? Hey! Thanks, Mercy. Well, I had a good sleep, but there's work to do now. See ya. It doesn't seem like he has very many friends here. It's troubling, but I probably shouldn't cry. Wow. Very nice and wholesome. Alright. Um, let's look at certifications. Um, oh, so yeah, Sylvain... <coughs> He has completed that. Um, it's actually not too bad. Well, I know what class I'm going to make him next. And as far as that's concerned, I know what I'm going to do with both of them. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and unlock that for her. It's all thanks to hard work. Uh Yeah, actually. Um So for flying, she's already a Priest. Uh, and as far as getting, she already has the capability of becoming a Pegasus Knight, but she's very frail as a character, um, as far as defense-wise, so I wouldn't really suggest it. And she's not very strong for strength, and you can't use magic while you're uh, a Pegasus Knight. 
Uh, she's got Lily's Poise, adjacent allies take three less damage, which is actually really nice. And she's got uh, Restore, which is a status curing, and then she also has her normal heal. But as you can see, she has the talent under reason, so getting her really high up there is a good idea. Um, we have Catherine, and we have Shamir, and we also have Cyril. So we are going to do exploring, and uh, there's nothing really else to do here. <laughs> this monastery is more dangerous than I expected. It's likely that our foes have infiltrated the ranks of the teachers. And there may be others of questionable character about as well. If you ask me, there is something amiss about that old man. Thomas. Well, she's kind of giving you a little bit of word of warning for him. Having a fishing <coughs> tournament before the battle of the eagle and lion, at first I couldn't figure out what they were thinking. But the fish are especially tasty this time of year, so I don't question it anymore. Have you had any, Professor? You'd better eat up before it's all gone. So he's kind of telling you there's something going on at the pier, so... You can actually go down there and go through that. Hi, Professor. Oh. Want to know something? What's that? Grander is in the territory of House Burgley's in the Empire. That's right next to my home, the region of House Marley. Oh, no. What if... What if my parents come to watch? <laughs> I don't think they're allowed to watch. Okay. Say that if you weren't completely sure, right? I, I think you're fine. <laughs> but yeah, let's, let's see. Oh. Fodlin is big. It's not as big as Almira is, but it's still pretty big. Uh, do you want to travel around Fodlin someday? I don't know. Never thought about it, I guess. Sure, should certainly try it. Um, Professor, yep. as Seth has told you, we're to have a fishing tournament. Given the events of the last month, I believe this is just the sort of distraction we need, staff and student alike. Will you take? I'm afraid I'm not one for such festivities. I do enjoy a spot of fishing, though. I believe it best that I stick to quietly fishing by myself. Um. So. Hmm. I'm gonna do writing. Alright. Yes, I would like to do some gardening. Harvest all of that. Plant. And we're gonna do. Albinian, mixed fruit, and morphous seeds. And cultivating, we're gonna use the bone meal. Alright. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty good at fishing. My older brother used to take me out. But why don't you give it a try too? They say we can eat whatever we catch. Well, that sounds fantastic. Um, I've never been one to fish myself, so... Sometimes it's nice to dangle the fishing line and let your mind wander. I'd love to spend some time lounging around by a scenic river or lake. Uh, smithing stone. Holding such a frivolous and downright ridiculous event so close to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? It's absolutely absurd. Although, they did say we could eat whatever we catch. I'm a sucker for a good meal. I just couldn't resist. Uh, it, it's hilarious that as she was talking about it, the cat started just meowed. <laughs> it's like, I'm hungry. Welcome to the monastery fishing tournament. You look confused. Didn't Sabbath tell you about it? No. Just 
catch whatever fish Flame requests. Show any fish you catch to Flynn. I have a favor to ask. Alright. We get the tournament bait, and that's what we use to do the catching. You actually want to talk to all the people that would be participating in it. That way you know what kind have of you thought fish about to entering? catch. Maybe you and I could have a little friendly competition. I just caught this fish here. Why don't you try catching a bigger one of the same type? So you have to have a fish with a rarity of four stars or higher. Um, oh. let's get that as well. Will you be taking part two, Professor? Uh, I must admit I am quite excited. I cannot recall the type of fish I was hoping to dine on. So if you do manage to catch a fish, do you mind bringing it for me to see? You can certainly do that. I'm going to catch me some mighty fish. Just you wait and see. Hmm. But they haven't been biting. Your shouting is scaring the fish. What shouting? <laughs> that shouting. Everyone told me I was too loud, so I've been using my quiet voice. <laughs> That's your quiet voice? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm concerned. I am happy that you will have participation. Maybe you and I both can have a small contest with each other? We will both have catching of the same fish type and do comparisons. Whoever has the fish with the biggest size will be winning, okay? Three stars are higher. So you are joining the fishing tournament? That's great, but you don't stand a chance against me. I just caught this beauty. I bet you can't catch a bigger one of the same kind. Uh, two stars are higher, so it's not that hard to beat Casper. Oh, you're entering too. Then how about a little friendly competition? Let's see who can catch the biggest fish. There's no way I'll lose. And four stars are higher, so Raphael and uh, <laughs> Catherine. There we go. <laughs> Oh, are you taking part in the fishing tournament? Let's put your skills to the test. Whoever can catch the biggest one of these fish wins. Two stars are higher, so he's not as difficult. <laughs> oh, so you're taking part. Uh, how would you feel about a little friendly competition? Catch the same kind of fish as me and we'll compare the two. Biggest wins. Three stars are higher. So Raphael and Catherine are going to be the hardest to beat. But it's actually not as difficult as you might think. So... We're going to catch fish with these two so we can just go ahead and get it out of the way. Because it's going to be... The thing is, the most recent fish you catch is going to be the one that is going to be used in the... Uh, the... essentially the comparison of like whether or not you got the quest up. And there's no really wrong uh, way to do this quest. If you don't win, you still get the... Uh... Oh wow. That's a five star. Um, it you're not gonna completely you're you're not gonna lose lose in the sense of like oh well you failed this quest it's still gonna count as completed it's just not gonna be uh it they'll kind of just say oh you didn't win kind of deal oh I didn't get it Ah, uh, that one good. Huge Fodlin cart. I think that's actually the one we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch something? Let me see what you got. No way. That fish looks bigger and tastier. I can't believe I lost. Yeah. All right, let's see what you got. I, I lost? But how? I guess I underestimated you, Professor. 
gives us an iron axe for that. Wow. Um, let me actually check something. Uh, oh, my brawling's a D. Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna actually have to really increase it. Show me the fish, so we can see whose has the biggest size. I will have comparisons now. Your fish has way more size. I have had losing. I mean, I have lost. She gives you a sword. Ah, you already got your hands on some fish. Let's compare that. Oh, I lost. Is there anything you can't do? Give us some vulnerary. <laughs> Looks like you've been doing some fishing. Let's see what you've got. Wow, that's a spectacular fish. You win. I can't compete with that. Got a vulnerary as well. Alright. Are you taking part as well? Why don't we have some fun with this? A little contest. If you catch a fish like this, come show it to me. Whoever catches the bigger fish will be the victor. Two stars. So, you've caught something, have you? Let us pit our fish against each other. Alas, your fish is clearly grander than mine. I suppose you win. This time. Got a tomato. <laughs> oh, you've caught one. Let me see. Nice, you beat me. This is for you. And we got a steel sword. Nice. So it doesn't matter what size fish you catch. It, with the competition between the rest of the people, you do have to talk to them before you talk to Flane. Otherwise, it is uh, like you can't get the winnings from each one of them. <sighs> what a shame. It is not the type I was hoping for. Oh. Well, so that's still out. Nice, you beat. Alright, so I'm actually going to spend one of the points building up that so I can get a better brawling. So she's not actually... we didn't find the one she's looking for, so what we're going to do is fish again. And there's a specific fish she's looking for. It is a five-star fish, so if it's... It, and it's a very... Well, I, I'm doing horrible about that. All right. So you're actually wanting to look for a fish that has a glimmer to it. Essentially the glimmering fish. And it's indicated by a yellow silhouette instead of a uh, red or a uh, blue. So, until you actually get that uh, specific, uh, essentially, until you get that fish, you can just sit there and keep fishing until you actually do find it. I, and this does do a good job about actually just increasing your professor level, because they gave you 50 term in it, at, at 50 bait to actually find it. And you should find it within the 50. I Last time I went through this, I, I did it within, like, 10. I think even less than that, honestly. And that was a larger one. Alright. And it's just going to be essentially going through this until you actually do find it. Man. I must have got it incredibly uh, fortunate the last time I did this. Alright, well, it might be here a little bit. So, I'm going to kind of just, like, talk about it random thing, probably. Um, I am doing a essentially like a second playthrough It doing the Golden Deer House because I, I did do some research into it 
because I wanted to know myself. Um, there is actually a different story depending on which house you pick, but it only happens like after part two. Like there's some like character interactions that are going to be definitely different because you pick the different uh, houses. I, I didn't think it was... I thought about, oh, I could do like a complete playthrough of like each house, but that seems a bit much. So what I decided to do is instead of doing that, I was going to then just get to the... because all of this is still part one of the game. Part two is something that happens later, and that's where the story different. It, it starts going off on its different paths. So, essentially what I'm going to have is... I'm going to be doing the part two of the... Uh, of this house, of the Golden Deer, and of the Black Eagles. And funnily enough, there's actually four different, like, endings to the game, which makes... it's ridiculous. But... doing the one with the Black Eagles is gonna take a little bit more work to get the ending, like, the specific endings because there's two going from that. So... What I'm going to be doing... is... I'm going to... It get to the point where I know with the Black Eagles there is going to be that diverging path. And I'm gonna just kind of record that bit of like, okay, this is what you need to do to make sure you're going on this path. But there is like an actual, um, essentially a true path of like, you learn about like what all is going on and it what the true enemy is in this game. There we go. I think that's it. Professor. That might be it, it might not be. Give me a minute. Oh, you caught one. Yep, that was it. Thanks. All right. I guess that's it. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Well, it was. This created more fun than I have experienced in a long time. Did you also have the fun? Training has given me great oh. busy, but you have given me intrigue. Please make sure you are speaking with me again. Yeah, Dex in writing. I I actually do want to recruit her. I wasn't expecting and much, but this tournament was a lot. Caspar is actually um, someone I recruited in the other playthrough I'm doing, and he's actually really good. I I'll, like I you I, I would. I'm essentially deploying him in the fights more than I am people from the house that I Guess chose. it's time for my personal eating tournament then. Best part is, no losing. Well, congrats on that. Okay. The fishing tournament is over. I heard you did some fishing, and that Flane is happy. You saw me do fishing! <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Unless you just weren't paying attention. Okay. Um... And there's actually other ways that's better about increasing the professor stats. The end of the fishing tournament. Well, your stats. I suppose it's time to prepare for the battle of the eagle and lion. Yeah. 
Fishing was a nice change of pace, but now it's time to focus on the battle of the eagle and lion. All right. Well, Lysithia is another person I want to recruit. Why would we go all the way to Grander Field? It's idiocy to travel that far. It may be a tradition, but it takes forever to get there and is exhausting. So pointless. I guess there's nothing to be done about it. Even by you, Professor. Yeah, there's not much that can be done. Um... I think I might... I don't remember all the stuff I have for everyone. Uh, yeah, this is... Yeah, that's nothing of hers. Um, but I do have something for Flame. I am so... Sorry. Yours is this. Oh, that is mine. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. Okay. Do you have time for a request? Uh, taking out some bandits. We'll do that. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Young Monica disappeared last year. I thought she had simply run along home, but it turns out she was kidnapped. I can't believe it. How awful it must have been for the poor thing. They say her personality has completely changed, but at least she seems more cheerful than before. Grateful to be alive, perhaps? Who knows? Who knows? All right. Hello there. And since it's a new yes, month, yes. <laughs> And I am going to do this part off screen, don't worry, one, yes. I'm not going to have you sit through this one, yes. a bunch of fishing like I this. Think this one, yes. It seems I silly, but one, yes. when you can get like... I thank you. Uh, Return soon, please. I want to say like maybe 500 or so points to your professor level just by fishing, I'm not going to complain about doing that. No. As you can see, fishy, fishing can be something that's done fairly easily. Farewell. And there's not much thought put into it. You're just kind of pressing A with a rhythm. And that's pretty much it. So, anyway. As I was saying before the fishing tournament was done. Uh, I'm going to be doing the like actual true path at the end. Because it does involve doing the Black Eagle path. As far as the house you choose. But... With the recent update, they did a... Okay, this is... Um, it, um, a new difficulty called Maddening. And it's like, alright, fine. <laughs> I will actually do that. I'll do the actual path on the hardest difficulty. So that'll be fun. So, that's what I was going to say. feel that first refreshing breeze upon your face, you know it is almost time for the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Grander Field is within the Empire, but the path there from the Monastery necessitates passing through Alliance territory. Fodlin's biggest river, the Aramid River, flows along the border between the Empire and the Alliance. You will have to cross one of the largest bridges upon that river, the Great Bridge of Murden. Hmm. Still want to hold to what Sotha said kind of a caution on that dude, but hey, alright. The Death Knight's true identity. Personally, I don't think it could be Yuritsa. He taught me swordsmanship. He said I had talent and the potential to get pretty strong. He was a little scary, of course. But it's hard for me to believe he's a bad person. <laughs> well, we don't know exactly. After all, the ladies love nothing more than a winner. And around here, there's no bigger game. I'm sure they do. I knew you'd understand, Professor. I, I, I'm just agreeing with you on that, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I need a favor. Certainly. Um. After all. Well, let's see what your motivation is. It's full. Okay. The battle of the eagle and lion. 
Its name comes from the war in which the kingdom won its independence from the Empire. It's imperative that we fight our best. We must live up to the legacy of the King of Lions. Um, you... I'm not entirely sure what yours is, because there's actually an, a pretty decent amount of stuff going on as far as what people have lost. Uh, do I have anything for him? No, I do not. Ever since the tournament, the kitchen is completely overtaken with fish. The cooks cannot keep up. Uh, and to do, I don't think I've got anything for, from him either. No. Alright, well, I do have a bunch of stuff here. Um... shouldn't have it. You shouldn't have it. Maybe not, but you know what? You shouldn't have it. I'm trying to increase motivation with these people because it's like, okay, this is going to be something I'm going to have to take care of because I don't have another way to actually do anything different. Thank you. Thank you. At this point, I'm just giving people stuff. It's nothing really. Uh, okay. Um, well, how about that? Um, no, I do not want to do that. Leone's over there. Ingrid's down there. Phoenix. Um, we can head through here. I'm just absolutely exhausted. I swear to you, Professor, every month we worked harder than the month before. I had imagined the Academy as a chance to possibly relax before our lives began in earnest. Well, it is what it is. Agreed. That's the Church of Saros for you. What is it they say? Those with power are obliged to use it? Honestly... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what I think. Um, now I think about it. Getting somewhere there. Okay. I was checking what... My levels as far as different stats go. Okay. It's crazy of what you got to keep in track of to recruit people. Going all the way to the Empire for a mock battle? This is serious business. And there's a reward to be had as well. I'd really like to win this thing. Well, you're not going to win it. Well, excuse me, Professor. Um, do you think it would reflect poorly on me if I chose not to take part in the battle of the Eagle and Lion? I think it's this one? Well, yeah. I don't really want to leave the monastery. I'm not very confident, but I'll try my best. Oh man. Marianne, Marianne. Dorothea. Hello. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is coming up soon. Feeling confident? There. That's the spirit. Um, good night. <laughs> Look at the list. Um, I don't remember if anything I've got is hers. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't have anything of hers. 
Uh, I am, regardless, gonna try to increase my affinity with her. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Just shower people with. Alright, um... Oh, I already do have a C with her. Okay. Um... In that case, actually... Hmm... It might be close. We'll Ponder Field is in the Empire, right? I wonder how we'll get there. I thought I heard that there's no path that goes straight from the Monastery to the Empire. Oh, perhaps we'll travel through Alliance territory. Yes, I see. From the East, we would go... Mm, there. Ah, yes, that must be it. She's just busy trying to figure out uh, what path we'll be taking, which is... We're both nice and kind of silly at the same time. Alright, where is Hilda? Where Where is the crazy lady? <laughs> or, <laughs> I think she's crazy. Crazy and manipulative as all get out, but, you know. recovered almost instantly and she's been bizarrely cheerful uh, now that you, mention you it. see what I mean I wonder if she's straining to seem happy just to make people comfortable hmm and why is she so close to Edelgard anyway who knows honestly The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is a free-for-all contest among the three classes. If you are victorious, the Archbishop will no doubt present you with a reward. Well... I'm not interested in rewards. <laughs> Just what I thought you'd say. Along with Flame, we found another female student who went missing last year. But now the combat professor Yuritsa has vanished. His origin begged many questions, so there were plenty of objections to his appointment here. He is apparently from House Rim of the Empire, but he was adopted from another family, or so they say. Anyway, there hasn't been much good to be said about House Rim in recent decades. Hmm. <laughs> what do you say, Edel? Shall we meet up in the library later, too? Oh, hello, Professor. Do you need something? I'm a little busy at the moment. Sorry, Professor. I've got a lot of questions to ask Adel here. Since I couldn't graduate last year, I really want to make sure I can do so this year. Yeah, if that wasn't like a what the heck moment, <laughs> yeah, there's something off about her. Alright, so we're going to head up right. this way. Hey. Yep. After the Battle of the Eagle and Lion, a prize is awarded to the winner by the Archbishop herself. It's a three-way battle, so you can't waste too much time just observing. You have to jump right in there. You have to be proactive and defeat the most opponents. Do that, and it's quite possible the Archbishop will recognize how strong you are. Ah, great memories. I was a student here many years ago. I know what I speak of.
There is one minute. Let's see. What can I ensure that independently minded young woman does not fall into harm's way? Um. I would say. Keep an eye on her from a distance. Hey, you. <laughs> hey, you. Alright. Um. Let's actually. fun everyone should enjoy themselves while they're doing it regardless of the quality this is a good chance for us to prove our solidarity increase the faith a little bit and i'm at seven experience left to level that up uh but i did level up my authority which was good the glory of progress and we got some professor experience as well. Yeah, so doing stuff like that is actually sometimes better than doing the, uh... Like, trainings with, I'm so um, sorry. professors. I was lost in thought. What were you thinking about? Death Knight's true identity. Could it actually be Professor Yoritsa? It might have been. What is with you people pushing each other? <laughs> it's like, what in the world? <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the artisan. Need something. Oh, only have 500? Okay, well, I can't do anything about that. So, we'll kind of just move on from there. And the last... Favor to ask. There's another letter that needs to be delivered. And we're going not down here. Instead of having to run all the way down there, it's probably just better to fast travel it. All that's left now is to eat it. Should I smoke it? Stew it? Ugh, I'm drooling already. <laughs> she likes food as bad as much as I do. Alright. Especially when it comes to taste. Alright, to do, we're gonna have a chat. Here you are again. I came to check on the flowers. I see. The flowers you helped to water are in bloom now. Have a look. Aren't they lovely? Indeed. My sister was fond of this one in particular. I didn't know you had a sister. It never came up. Dusker is a dead land. Its flowers were all trampled under the boots of soldiers. But seeing this blossom brings back memories. I do not know why I am telling you all of this. Well, I'd like to hear more. There is little to tell. But if you are from Fodlan, you must know what became of the people of Dusker. The people who betrayed their allies from Fargus. The ones who were punished for regicide. The Dusker are shunned for their crimes, even now. It would be in your interest not to spend any more time around me than necessary. Dimitri doesn't shun you. I don't care what people think. I spend time... Well, I've never really cared about what people you think. You may think little of it now, but your reputation will eventually suffer. But, to be completely candid, it pleases me to be able to speak with you like this. If you truly do not mind, 
I would be glad to receive more visits from you in the future. Um. Come on. Why are they having a fishing tournament now? Are they just giving up on the battle of the eagle and lion? You're not condoning this, right? Are you? Oh, man. If you're actually part of the Golden Deer House, you get a chance to answer her, and you're like, well, not really. And <laughs> she's. It, you increase infinity with her, but she's like, wait a minute, what's with that smirk on your face? I don't know. It, Leone's actually really cool. I really like her as a character. And. Um. She's actually the one that. What if I can find it? I thought I had it. Maybe I don't. Um. Yeah, apparently I don't have anything for her. I thought I did. But she's the one that wanted a bow. Casper's actually over here. I wasn't expecting. That's yeah, yours. Yeah, that's definitely mine. You really saved me with this. I owe you one, Professor. Um. Wait. Oh. Really? Well, I'm looking at this list of like what are like lost items for characters and apparently there's a lost item that can go to multiple people. So you essentially choose who you give it to in that regard. Uh Ingrid and Annette. Okay. Ingrid? What's the matter, Annette? You look upset. I'm just so... so sorry. I had no idea. I'm not sure I follow. Take a breath. What's going on? Well, I was really curious about why you're not interested in things like makeup. So I asked some of our friends about it, and... Oh, I see. I imagine they mentioned that my family was fairly poor, and they probably also mentioned that I lost my fiance. Correct? They did. I'm so sorry. It was thoughtless of me to try pushing those things on you. It's perfectly fine, Annette. It's true, my family struggled financially. It wasn't easy growing up, but it taught me values I wouldn't have learned otherwise. And we weren't so poor that I consider myself deprived. I'm sure my family would have bought me makeup if I had wanted it. But it never mattered enough to me. Not then, and not now. Oh, so you just never sought that stuff out? Never. While I acknowledge it can be fun, fussing over my outward appearance isn't an instinct of mine. When I was younger, I'd usually be found covered in dirt, bugs in my hair, and a big smile on my face. Things haven't changed too much since. Then, when my fiancé passed on, my priorities shifted even further. It reminded me of what's most important in life. Beyond that, it's hard to think of myself changing without him around to see it, even if it's something trivial like how I present myself. But talking to you has helped me realize it's okay to loosen up and enjoy those things, if I want. So, thank you. Me? Oh, I didn't do anything at all. Except Pester. More importantly, do you notice anything different about me today? Yes. It's very subtle, but I could tell right away that you were using that makeup I gave you. You could? Oh, that makes me happy. I was trying to apply it just how you showed me. You did great, and it really suits you. I think there's a lot I can learn from you, Annette. You've helped me embrace the lighter side of life I quite like. It's my pleasure. Ooh, this is so great. Want to go shopping to celebrate? Uh, shopping? But what would we buy? That sounds so overwhelming. 
<laughs> There's a dress I've been eyeing for a while now. I'm certain it will complement your pretty eyes. Just leave it to me, Ingrid. I'll make you the most fabulous knight this world has ever seen. Well, that does sound fun. I look forward to it. All right. So, we got that. Um... There's just, like, a... Just a ton of stuff going on. Okay. Lauren's in... Fernand... Or, in this direction. Um... Actually, yeah. Indeed. I received a rare letter from my father recently. He said that he is praying for the Golden Deer House to emerge victorious. Insistently praying. My father attended the Officer's Academy and won a glorious victory in the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. I think he is quite proud of that, even to this day. I suppose that shows how great an honor it truly is. Hey! I mean, I guess, but... You're, you're gonna lose. You know, the Empire used to control all of Fodlan. But after the Civil War, the Northern region split off and became the Kingdom. Later, the eastern part of the kingdom seceded to become the Alliance. There are three powers today, but a thousand years ago, we were all united as one. Even now, among the nobles of the Empire, there are some who dream of reunifying Fodlin. Uh, interesting thought. Uh, okay, so... make matters a little bit easier because this is running a bit long. Mainly because there's just a bunch to do, especially at the beginning of the month, and exploring the monastery. It's just going to take a while. Since we were little, Ingrid's always gotten this odd look in her eye when someone brings up food. Okay. It so, nothing of like, since we were uh, Yeah. Alright, so... Just teleport over here. Um... Where... Well... I think I'm gonna go talk with Gerald. How are preparations for the Battle of the Eagle and Lion going? Hmm? Fishing? Taking it easy, are you? The recent happenings at the monastery. There is something going on behind the scenes here. I've been commissioned to investigate as well. As I've already mentioned, this month I'm off to the kingdom. You be on your guard, okay? Well, I'm more worried about you. <laughs> uh, perhaps I've gotten in your head too much. I won't go dying on you. I've stayed alive this long. It, just make sure of that. <laughs> just make sure of that, alright? <laughs> alright, we're gonna increase our writing to D rank. I still have much to learn. And. I always thought I was pretty good, you know? Then I'd go and get stabbed. Oh. But my opponent was the Death Knight, so. I figure I did pretty well to only get stabbed. I wonder if it's true that he is actually Yuritsa. Whoever he is, I'm going to make him pay. It turns out that when I get stabbed, I get really mad. I'll help you get revenge. I'm not going to let him get the better of me again. I don't know if you've heard, but Flane is very special. Her blood carries a rare crest. Oh, the lengths to which she could advance my research, if only I were able to study her. If only it weren't for Sedith's strict orders. 
He protects his sister with unusual zeal. Um, I, I at this point, <laughs> maybe I just sure. like it, but I agree. The time I would spend begging him and accomplishing nothing would be better spent on other research. Yeah, I, th I would highly agree with that. Um, actually, I think I've got something for you. I can't believe I left this behind. Well, thank you so much for. Re oh, I kind of cut you off there. Sorry. Um, that's it. And we're gonna talk to Rhea here. The situation last month was dire indeed. The students endured great hardship. I hope you were able to put all of that behind you, so that you may focus on this month's assignment. Of course. A most reassuring response. I trust that your class is in good hands. I look forward to seeing your skills on display at the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Um, I am going to want to... Faith. The glory of progress. Alright. I hear that you participated in the fishing tournament. I appreciate you taking the time. No problem. Okay. So... One last thing. We've got a quest to finish. And that is actually given a letter to Alois. I'm going to catch me some mighty fish. Just you wait and see. Well, the tournament's already over, dude. I appreciate this. will be it for this well, this part of Fire Emblem. I, and in the next one we'll start the Need next well, the following week. See you again soon. And hopefully can get through all these different um, well oh, someone's wanting to talk. Uh, all right, fine. We'll deal with that first. So. Uh, there is one thing I want to see if it's possible now, but I don't know if it is. Oh, why would we go all the way? It may I guess there's. Yes, I'm actually very busy right now. Ah, <laughs> so it's not high enough. Either the magic stat, which I do have a 15 in, it's either not high enough or my faith isn't high enough. That's why I was trying to get a C rank in it. Uh, I might need a C plus for it. Alright, well, there's that. And... Okay, it's over this direction. Who's wanting to do a chit chat? Professor. Ah. Hello, Hanneman. Ah, Professor. Always a pleasure to see you. I wonder, might you have a moment to chat? Why is that? Come now. You have no need to be on guard. I'd never cause you harm. You're far too valuable a specimen. Uh, well. That is to say, too valuable a member of the Academy staff. Indeed, 
The further my crest research progresses, the closer you come to learning the truth of your heritage. Is it not so? When I learned you bore the lost crest, the very crest of flames itself, I set about learning everything I could about your past. What was the origin of your bloodline? How have the events of your life been shaped by your lineage? I became somewhat obsessed, I must admit. You investigated me? Nothing so crass as an investigation. No, I researched. I spoke to mercenaries whom you've worked with in the past to learn about your life before the Academy. Of course, I also contacted Gerald and his mercenary friends. Your father does keep rather interesting company. I'm excited to share with you what I learned, but I do ask that you correct me if I am mistaken on any account. The story begins with Gerald serving as captain of the Knights of Seros. There was a woman at the monastery with whom Gerald was quite close. At first, it seemed obvious this mystery woman was your mother. Alas, that cannot be the case. The timing is all wrong. As it was told to me, the woman in question passed away shortly before Gerald left the monastery. Yet your birth occurred sometime later, while Gerald was taking work as a mercenary. This, of course, presumes your age is accurately reported. If you were born sooner, well, the story would be quite different, would it not? Well... My father's kind of been one to keep secrets. Oh, I am aware. You two were certainly enigmatic, as far as mercenaries go. For example, Gerald never once spoke of his time serving as captain of the Knights. That's quite a secret to keep for all those years. In the end, your old acquaintances had little definitive to say about either of you. However, they all agreed on one thing. Your father and yourself were a strong pair. Warriors to be respected and feared. You in particular. In fact, Many came to know you as the Ashen Demon. They say you would destroy your enemies without a hint of emotion on your face. The mercenaries I spoke to revered you as a living legend of sorts. So, that is what I learned. And I admit, it is barely more than I knew before. The next step in my research is to ask your blood for answers, and hope that it is more forthcoming than your past acquaintances. All right then. And that'll be it for this episode, for this video. And the next one, we'll start teaching once again. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.